Hey, Warriors fans, Harrison Graham here on Golden State Warriors today. Today's show presented by Manscaped. Go to, go to manscaped.com slash chat. You can get 20% off plus free shipping off of all of their men's grooming products. Trust me, you want to take advantage of the deal. We got some Warriors draft grades. It was a busy night, and it started fast for Golden State. So let's go ahead and get into it. James Wiseman, number two overall pick. I'm going to give this selection a B+. Plus, I like this pick of James Wiseman. I, the only reason I'm not going to give it an A or an A plus is because I think that uh, it takes longer for centers to develop in the NBA, which is why I can't give it a full A plus. But overall, I feel really, really good about this pick of James Wiseman. It's a good selection. You know, we didn't see him a lot in college. Played three games at the University of Memphis. Uh, before the NCAA violations hit, he decided to opt out the rest of the season and gear up for the NBA draft. A guy who can run the floor extremely well. He can score around the basket. He's not an outside shooter by any means. We'll see if he can develop at least a mid-range shot at some point in his career. But he's still very young, 19 years old. And uh, a 7'6 wingspan could have a chance to be an excellent, excellent rim protector as well. So James Wiseman in the limited action, we did see him. Uh, at Memphis, he was very, very impressive. 20 points, 11 rebounds, 77% from the floor. He can block some shots as well. So uh, I'm excited to watch him develop. I'm excited to see the Warriors uh, put a promising young big around all of their scores. It should be a lot of fun to watch uh, in the uh, in the years to come because James Wiseman has a chance to be really special. I'm giving it a B plus. I think it's a pretty solid pick overall. So how about this question? Will James Wiseman win Rookie of the Year. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Anthony Edwards was the number one pick, Wiseman number two, and then LaMelo Ball went number three. I think those are your top three candidates right now. Will Wiseman win Rookie of the Year? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And hey, tonight was the draft, but free agency gets going in less than 48 hours. On Friday, we'll probably hear some... Uh, rumors tomorrow and we're going to cover it all here on golden state warriors today so make sure you are subscribed to the channel youtube.com slash warriors tv we covered all the draft picks tonight we're handing out draft grades right now and uh, we're going to have uh, some fun throughout free agency if the warriors make a big move trust me we are going to cover it here on golden state warriors today so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you don't ever miss a video here on the channel. We're just getting going on Golden State Warriors today. We have a lot of big things planned for you guys. So make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash Warriors TV. A pick I really liked in round two at number 48 overall. That is Nico Mannion, the point guard out of Arizona. Good athlete. Volume score, not a great shooter overall. I think that is one big knack on Mannion's game, but uh, I think he's got a chance to be a really solid pro. Solid bench score, 14 and a half points. At, uh, for the Wildcats this past year, dished out over five assists. You see that field goal percentage, not very good. He, he took a lot of bad shots at Arizona. I thought, I thought his shot selection at times wasn't great overall, but I think he's got a real shot of, of turning into a legitimate rotation player. I think he can come in and play on your bench and be a volume scorer type. Now, we'll see how big of an impact he has as a rookie in the NBA, but at 19 years old, Tested pretty well at the Combine. I think uh, Nico Mannion is a player uh, that can, you know, continue to grow and get to get better as time goes on. So I'm definitely very fascinated to see how he projects moving on into his NBA career. And especially with Klay Thompson getting injured and possibly out for the season, we'll hit on that briefly here in just a few moments. But uh, Nico Mannion may have a bigger role than initially expected uh, when, he, uh, when he got picked by the Warriors because... Not looking good for Clay Thompson. We'll get official word on that MRI tomorrow. Grade the Nico Mannion pick. A, B, C, D, or F. Go ahead and grade it for me down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the selection of Nico Mannion. A minus. The value is great. He was number 33 on Jimmy Crowther's big board, our draft analyst here at Chat Sports. And uh, to get him at pick number 48, uh, that's good. That's good. Inefficient score, but I think he is a guy that can certainly improve and improve quickly in the NBA. So I'm excited to see how he develops in Steve Kerr's system, and we will see uh, how things progress for Nico Mannion. Now head over to manscaped.com slash chat to get 20% off the Lawnmower 3.0 and all of Manscaped's products. Trust me, 
These are items you don't want to pass up on. If you have a significant other, they don't like it when it's hairy downstairs. Trust me on that. The Lawnmower 3.0, they're going, that's going to eliminate that problem for you. I couldn't find a razor I liked for years, so I just gave up downstairs. It became the freaking Amazon rainforest, but I found the Lawnmower 3.0, and my life has changed forever. It's smooth down there. My wife loves it. It is a great, great thing for you, and it's a good thing in the bedroom. You can trust me on that. Manscaped.com slash chat. If you want to go big, you can get the perfect package. If you want to go big and get big, if you know what I'm saying, get the perfect package. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash chat. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description as well. Manscaped, your balls will thank you. You can trust me on that one. I trust these guys with my life. Their products have been life-changing for me. So go ahead and take advantage at manscaped.com slash chat and get 20% off. Justinian Jessup was the other pick at number 51 overall. We didn't have a ton of info on him coming out of Boise State. Now, I've read reports that this is a draft and stash pick here. He is already in Australia, set to play overseas. There is Jessup for at least one year. So we will see what the long-term implications of this draft pick end up being. But uh, Justinian Jessup, the number 151 overall pick, Excellent shooter, 6'7", 200, can play the two, can play the three. Uh, not much of an athlete or a defender at this point. So I'll grade this pick as a C plus. Don't really know much about the kid other than he's an excellent spot-up shooter. So we will have to see uh, what the future looks like for Jessup. But uh, draft and stash is the chatter right now for him. So we'll just have to wait and see if and when he joins the Warriors. Expect him to be a G League guy once he comes over. So I'll go see for or a C plus for Justinian Jessup on that pick. Just not a lot of information out there. The news of the night was Clay Thompson's injury news. He apparently got injured during a workout on Wednesday. Uh, and there, the, the fear is that it's an Achilles. And that is not good considering he missed all of last season with a torn ACL. Hopefully we get better news tomorrow, but uh, it is not looking great for Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. Hopefully that changes soon. Hopefully, uh, you know, the diagnosis isn't as bad as initially thought, but uh, it's not looking good for Clay and the Golden State Warriors, which is a bummer because Golden State is expecting to come back and compete this year. Now, that doesn't mean they can't win games and compete without him. Steph Curry should be back and healthy. Uh, he'll get to play with Andrew Wiggins and Draymond and all these new picks, James Wiseman and all of that good stuff. But if you don't have Clay Thompson, it's just such a different deal because he's such a great two-way player and without him you just can't replace what he gives you shooting wise and on defense. now I'm excited to watch James Wiseman we'll see if Nico Mannion can practice rotation but it, it was definitely a bummer when we read this news about uh about Clay Thompson potentially uh tearing his Achilles I'm hoping for the best uh like I said we will have it covered here on Golden State Warriors today but everything we know right now not looking good the Warriors are awaiting results for his MRI I'll leave you with this question. Can the Golden State Warriors make the playoffs without Clay Thompson? Type one for yes, type zero for no. I definitely think they can make the playoffs Can they contend for a title. That's a different question. I'm going to type my one for yes. I think they can make the playoffs. As far as competing for an NBA championship, I am not so sure. My final grade for the NBA draft for the Golden State Warriors tonight, B+. Plus. I like the Wiseman pick. I like Mannion. Uh, you know what? Justinian Jessup, number 51 overall pick. We will wait and see. Excited to see Wiseman in this system. B-plus for the team overall. I like what they did tonight. Answer this question, one for yes, zero for no. We will see you very soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything that happens throughout the offseason.